What's up everyone? Uh, it's my HD and um, yeah apologies for the delay since the last video so it's been um, since early July so that, that I actually released the last video um, so this one is just to say that um, the September drivers uh, the latest one will be released um, certainly by Friday that's my next day off from work so I'll put a few hours in and, and get those drivers out to you um, also hope to um, sort of solve some of the issues some of you guys have been having mainly the, the people who have an iMac 5k with the um, the R9 M300 series graphics card, so you like your M395X, the M390, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to take uh, the code from the last GNOME working driver and stick it in the new one, and I'm hopeful that should should solve the problems, but I don't really know if it will. So when I do release the next version, uh, let me know how it works for you guys. Um, and, and the only other people who've said they've got had a couple of issues, I think it's with the Vega 20, um, yeah, Vega 20, some of the Vega MacBook Pros. Um, so I'll, well, the last known version, according to you guys at least, is 19.2.2. .2. So again, I'll take some of the installer code from that version, merge it into this uh, latest driver release, and hopefully we'll get something uh, usable for you. Um, so, but again, if you do find these sort of problems with your graphics card um, after installing my driver, um, of course it's great that you let me know, really appreciate that. Um, it's not always the case that I can actually do something about it, um, that's just because um, AMD do all the work within the firmware, I don't actually touch the firmware itself, um, the system files essentially, um, and that's just because I'm, if I did, it would probably cause more problems than it would solve um, for everybody really. Um, so the best thing you can do is click on the bug report button on the top of the website and uh, also tell AMD about your issues as well. Uh, believe, it not, be, believe it or not, they do actually act on it. Um, you might not always get a reply from them, but in the past uh, we've had some really good results. Uh, AMD do listen and um, they have eventually provided fixes um, for the issues you guys have been having. Um, and a really good example was years ago when the, I think it was the M290, um, from the same year of iMac 5Ks as the iMac I've got. For ages and ages and ages, they had a code, I can't remember what it was now, code 30 or code 22 or something like that, which meant that it doesn't matter what what version of the graphics driver was being installed, it just wouldn't work. Even Apple's own official drivers had this problem. Um, and it took, it took years. It took, uh, well, basically, once I started making the drivers, people started reporting the issue more and more and more to AMD. And um, yeah, it took about two years for Apple to officially release an update to fix it. Um, and actually, I had a I had a, I had a fix in my drivers about probably five months before they released their sort of official um, AMD update driver, um, just because AMD had already fixed it. And um, I think Apple must have been testing it further um, on the Macs, but it, it was working fine. Anyway, a little bit off, off topic, but make sure you submit the bug reports to AMD. At the end of the day, all I do is um, change the installer code so it correctly recognizes your graphics card and then applies the correct software settings. Uh, but it is based on the PC driver for the most part, so all the tweaks are, are going to be the same as in the PC driver. Um, yeah, uh, one other thing as well. So we're getting to the time of year again where I need um, to renew the certificate, basically. I think it's either end of October or beginning of November. I can't remember the exact date. I'll have to double check. Um, but every year, um, I have to re-sign and reacquire a certificate, really, so renew an, uh, another certificate. And uh, the reason for that is, it's just every time I buy it, it only lasts one year. Um, so when it expires, potentially the drivers, um, they're potentially going to just they just stop working, and you have to um, go into test mode for them to start working again. So the obvious solution for that is for me to buy a new certificate, right? The problem is it cost me about 60 to 70 pounds. Um, or certainly did last year, it might have gone up again, I can't remember. But anyway, um, I'm getting to, the, so I really kind of need um, some, basically need a few more sort of donations to be able to pay for this certificate uh, and then I can renew everything well in advance of the deadline um, so that everyone is uh, enjoying, the, continuing to enjoy the drivers really for their games. Um, so I would really appreciate it if you, you know, even if it's just like a dollar, a euro, a pound, if everyone did that, you know, I'd probably reach the, the goal in like half a day, um, considering how many visitors that come to the website now. Um, so yeah, if you do have, a, you know, even if it's a small amount, 
all counts. So uh, I will be updating the website very, very soon to reflect the, the sort of need for this to, to happen, really. Um, and, of course, I always appreciate any donations that come in any time of year. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for those of you who have supported me um, throughout the years. Um, and we've got a great little community going on now. And, um, yeah, here's to another year of uh, bootcampdrivers.com, hopefully. So that's pretty much it. And, um, yeah, keep an eye out for the new drivers on Friday, which is 21st of September, I believe. Um, let me just check that. Yeah, I believe it is. Uh, no, 20th. So 20th of September, um, new driver release um, for everybody. And, and I'm hoping that uh, I'll finally be able to get some fixes for the um, some of the issues that's, that a small amount, number of you have. But um, yeah, thanks very much and uh, see you in the next one.